Kwera say mre Zimbabwe welcome to our channel Zim Confessions and Deep Secrets. Kana kariki tanga kukwe pa nino channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Kana chumwa kano ka subscriber. Don't forget to comment and share this video. Masa mre Zimbabwe taku igirai nyaya inorwa zanyeru sirisa nyaya budis kwa na renowned Zimbabwean investigative journalist wopo uchimono we are Buddha. I start a year. Nachita receive a message from the uh, Transform Zimbabwe leader Jacob Ngari Vome. Uh, we are Buddha Shora Timbaki. He was surrounded by ma, the Central Intelligence Organization operatives, my police officers, Harunza Mutora, Akanum Sunga, Mare Zimbabwe. He has done Mira Mushe, Spring Zakai, my security agents got deployed to Kumba, Kwa Job Sikala, right hand down Job Sikala. Opoji Mona Buddha, a story here, a cheat. A Zimbabwean political activist, Job Jacob Garivone, just called me now, telling me that his home is surrounded by Zimbabwean secret service and police officers. And Garivone has been arrested before and has spent time in jail on trumped up charges. And the Zimbabwean government has embarked on a crackdown against pro democracy voices before the SADC summit, which is starting on the 17th of August. And Ngari Bome's previous arrests and time spent in jail on trumped up charges against charges demonstrate a pattern of targeted harassment and intimidation by Zimbabwean authorities. And this renewed crackdown on pro democracy voices ahead of the SADC summit is a worrying development and threatens to undermine the very principles of democracy human rights and the rule of law that the summit seeks to promote. Alabude Sokari, I start from Soro, be my CIO at Tumiro Kumbakwa Job Sikala. I start at the sources in the security services. They have said a group of state security officers has been dispatched to arrest Zimbabwean opposition leader Job Sikala. Sikala, who spent two years in prison for crimes he did not commit and was later acquitted by High Court, is suing the state for jailing him without cause. Akendramberi, uh, Shtarayachiti, uh, he has been arrested 69 times without a single conviction. Mnangagwa's corrupt regime is embarked on a crackdown on the eve of the SADC summit that kicks off on 17th of August. It is important for international bodies such as the SADC and the United Nations to condemn these actions and call on the Zimbabwean government to immediately seize its crackdown on opposition leaders, activities, and civil society. And the right to a free to free expression and peaceful dissent must be promoted in Zimbabwe and those responsible for violating these these rights must be held accountable. Um, they are ready to lead um, Zimbabweans protest as really peaceful ahead of the SADC summit. Since as long as it's really constitutional, uh, they were ready to lead very front but Zimbabwe. So now that when the CIO at Miro, Zimbabwe Zabo, Akatorwa, but Zimbabwe. So Kari, uh so Zakari Panama State Security Agents, uh, Asunga, Bishop Kevin, Yamakanga, um uh, Kubakwake, Mwarari, Ajipiwa Moswa. Uh, plotter who incited violence during the SADC summit um, in Zimbabwe. Uh, one got to join uh, the list of uh, citizens. I uh, was this week in uh, the regime of uh, President Emerson Nangagwa. Uh, so his arrest by the Zimbabwean state security agents uh, is an example of an ongoing crackdown with all my political activists and my uh, opposition members in Zimbabwe. It's uh, Gazier. Zimbabwe's state security agents have arrested Bishop Kevin Nyamakanga, a reason in Harare, accusing him of plotting to incite public violence during the SADC summit kicking off on August 17. He joins a long list of Zimbabweans, Zimbabwean citizens arrested this week by Mnangagwa's corrupt regime. His arrest by state agent by state security agents is yet another alarming example of an ongoing crackdown on political activists, human rights defenders, and opposition member, members of the regime. This arrest 
is part of a larger pattern of human rights violations by the regime, including abductions, arbitrary detention, torture, and killings that have been documented by organizations such as Amnesty International, Southern Defenders, and Human Rights Watch. Targeting clerics is the lowest of the law. All this is being done in the name of Sadak leaders who we haven't said who we haven't said a word yet. Uh the Zinasu president who assumed you the airport. The Zimbabwe state agents have arrested the president of the Zinasu of the Zimbabwe National Students Union, Emmanuel Sitima, at Robert Mugabe International Airport. He was grabbed by 10 state agents who took him to an unknown location. The corrupt regime in Zimbabwe has embarked on a crackdown against civil society and pro-democracy activists ahead of the SADC summit starting on the 17th of August. This incident, coupled with a reported crackdown on civil society and pro-democracy pro and pro-democracy activists, indicates a worrying trend of repression and disregard for basic human rights in the country. The timing of these arrests and torture just days before the SADC summit suggests that the Zimbabwean government is attempting to silence critical voices and hinder the free exchange of ideas during this important regional meeting. section Zimbabwe. The South African Political Party, the Democratic Alliance, Yabuda Historia Iyo, Ichichema, na the Minister of International Relations, eh, Baronald Lamola, which did they should, he should eh, mm, submit a request to the SADC summit, change the venue, ne kuda kwe claim down the quid on ma opposition leaders, my Zimbabwe from the Tekaona, eh, ma pro democracy activists, ma opposition leaders for. On their way to Victoria Falls, Bakasungwa, Mare Zimbabwe, all of them at a Tochwa, Mare Zimbabwe, and the Zerman are saying, Yay, two zeros are moved, Gabam Soro, Pinya E, comment section. Historically, the opposition has never held any peaceful demonstrations. It is indeed disappointing to note that misplaced by priorities of sections of the opposition who are agitated to stir civil unrest at a time focus should be on hosting the summit. The timing of the push for demonstrations is not surprising. It has historical footprints. We have always witnessed the penchant to mobilize for demonstrations around regional and international events. This SADAC summit was therefore not going to be an exception. 